Brian Johnson spends over $2 million a year on technology and medical tests in an effort to live forever. But while he shares a lot of his ideas online, he's never shared a look at a setup like this before. Today, he's going to give us a tour of his at-home longevity lab and share his vision for what the future of health optimization looks like. Where should we start? Yeah, we, we try to be a medical grade clinic. So we have like 30 doctors on the team. And so- Oh my God. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them are part-time, okay. but we'll find specialists, like heart specialists, brain specialists, lung specialists, and so then they'll work for us part-time. Yep. And so like, for example, one thing that many people love is whole body ultrasound. Oh, and so I've you, seen this before. Yeah, you, you can do uh, blood draws, those are great, yep. but actually seeing tissue in with MRI or ultrasound is really high quality. And so having this readily accessible to do any part of the body is really great. You can image uh, the brain, okay. like, you, like the circle of Willis up here. Wow. You can look at uh, lungs, heart, liver, pancreas, bladder, muscles, like all the things. Everything, yeah, okay. yeah. I, we looked at. I have. Um, we found an issue where I've got these veins on my neck. They're called jugular veins. Video. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I have genetically narrow veins, which limit blood flow from my brain out, you know, down to my body. Yeah. So we can look at those very closely. So it's just it's such a useful tool to have immediate imaging on all parts of the body. We've done so many procedures over the years, joints, skin, so. Get your stem cells. Yeah, like I've been on here a lot. So yeah, like another machine, uh, like this is a skin machine. Okay. This is for improved collagen and elastin. Mm. So as you age, uh, your skin loses that structure. Yeah. So it sags, it wrinkles, it discolors. Yep. And so this is a technology that helps build elastin and collagen that is lost through age. What do you think about like the celebrities that use the blood on their skin? Is that a similar method or is yeah. that unhinged? So yeah, they're doing PRP facials. They're yeah. trying to get, they draw the blood out, they separate that from the plasma, then they put the growth factors back on the face. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen the evidence. Like PRP is a very commonly used thing for like- Hair regrowth. Yeah, hair regrowth. So like I did that myself. I did as well at a time. Okay, yeah. and? It worked for me, but I think mine was a terrible sleep schedule because I was like, working till 5 a.m. a lot of nights and I think I just ruined my hormonal balance, but now it's fixed. But so I don't know if it contributed, maybe. Yeah. What about you? It had no effect. Oh, damn, okay. Yeah. Which is- That's so disappointing. So it's consistent with the evidence though. When you look at the evidence, it's not a clean win. It works on some people, okay. not on others. There's not a clear reason why. Mm. And so I did, I think like five different sessions over okay. like a, a six month time period. Like we were, and consistent. as you know, it's painful. It's so painful. They like, t basically for anyone that doesn't know, they take out your blood, they spin it, yeah. and they re-inject it back into you. Yeah. And then I had a doctor, so he was very good in the science, but doctors are terrible at injections. The nurses are always like delicate, and yep. they know how to like. They've done it a million times. Yeah, when the doctor's like, just jam it in. <laughs> yeah. So this doctor like jammed this gigantic needle. It oh, was no. so painful. It didn't work, but now we found other stuff. Like I was almost bald a couple years ago. Now you have really good hair. So I, yeah, I have yeah. so much hair now relative to where I was almost gonna go bald. What'd you do that worked? We moved to growth factors. So okay. we've been using eight different growth factors on the brain, on this, on the hair. And then we use a 1927 nanometer laser and that increases absorption by like 600%. Wow. So it's a combination of growth factors okay. with laser, okay. which increases absorption. Is it laser like on your skull basically? Yeah. Okay. I, on the scalp. Yeah. But yeah, yeah, we actually, yeah. yeah, but we made this into a product for Blueprint is, so that's what we're trying to do is like, initially my entire endeavor was posing this question, what can a human do in this moment yep. that is unfathomable? Mm. And it's like, okay, we're gonna go after death. Like that, that. that's unthinkable. Yep. And then I did this for a couple of years and I open sourced everything I did. So it was like sharing with the world, here's my protocol, here's my results, here's what worked, here's what didn't work. So anybody can do it. And then everyone's like, okay, great. I want to do it too, but it's so hard. Yeah. Make and it goes back to like the, I don't know which doctor or thing to trust. Exactly. So they say to you, make it. Yeah. So they said, make it. So it's easy. I said, okay, so that's what we've done over the past year. So I try to make things that are just dead simple. We maintain about 50% gross margins. After our cost, it's about a 10% net margin. So we're basically like barely alive as a company. Yep. So I feel like we're really doing the world a solid. Yeah. Like, like we're making like legit the best health protocol in the world available. And we have these very small margins. So it's affordable to the most number of people. I love it. It's like we're genuinely trying to do a solid in the world. Have you seen anyone like go fully on it? I know that Kate is on it now. Is anyone else like to the same extent? Like thousands of people. Wow. Like tens of thousands. 
That's so exciting. Mm -hmm. And are you able to track their data and aggregate and see the changes? We are starting to do that. That'd be really cool. Yeah. We have, they've given us uh, their report, so we have a beginning, but we're going to do it much more systematically. Okay, so that's this area here. You said skin. Yep. Is this the... Yeah, two other things we have. This is a, a professional grade hearing system. Okay. So I had I have hearing damage in my left ear. 65 years old, right? Yep, is it exactly. better now? No. Damn. We found nothing that helps. Yeah, that... Okay, so Apple, this is really interesting. They just came out with a medical grade hearing test for the AirPods. Yeah. It only takes five minutes. It's as good as any medical standard. Yeah. And then it will transform your AirPods into hearing aids. And so the hearing aids just cost like $3,000. This is one ninety nine. Yeah, that's amazing. I was not aware of this. So what is it? It's called the AirPods. Yeah. It just came out last week. So brand okay. new. Yeah. I don't. It won't like fix your hearing, but if you wear them all the time, it will change the environment and all the content on your phone too. Yeah, that's really cool. Right? Isn't that awesome? That's really neat. I feel like you and Tim Cook need a collab. Yeah. He actually said that he thinks Apple's greatest impact to society will be in health. I was at a social event last week. Okay. And in the room, uh, there was like a hundred people. It was. I have a. It was so loud, okay. it was oh, 112 no. decibels. Oh my God. I have this app, it's Decibel X. I have it too. Okay, cool. Yeah. So just, I always pull it out and see where it's at. Yeah. Hearing damage begins at 80. And so, 80 decibels. So everyone in that room was suffering hearing damage yeah. from that social gathering. And so most people think that hearing loss is something that old people deal with. Yep. But I bet that more young people have hearing loss now than ever before. Because we've never had, um, right? Like we've never had the ability to introduce sound at these levels as easy as we have right now. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, and like the AirPods are amazing, but then they're also they get so loud so quickly. Yes. And now tracks if you are hitting the threshold of hearing damage. Yeah. But people just go right past it. No yeah. one cares. Exactly. Yeah. And your ears, the hair doesn't regrow, right? So is that why this hasn't worked? Um, there's just no therapy, yeah, to rebuild lost function, and so that's why. It's like such a delicate thing. Like if yeah. you're out of shape, you can get into shape. Now there's like damage that happens, but you can like change these things. If you lose your hearing, it's done. So yeah. between 4,000 Hertz and 12,000 Hertz, I'm deaf. I can't get it back. Wow. So, so like when you're at that party, are you freaking out about like what's happening? I, yeah. So I, I kind of want to stop the party. Like 100%. everyone, I feel the same um, way. yeah, like just so you know, and I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Yeah. Like we either need to whisper mm -hmm. or we need to go to a different environment because no one's winning here. And like people are like drinking alcohol and I was like, this is so sad. Yeah. Like, you're I like don't... every single part of it. <laughs> All right. Maybe that's like the next mission for you is yeah. like ear stuff. And then what's this? That is multi-spectral imaging. And Ooh. so the sun, of course, is helpful in many ways yep. for good health. Also, it causes damage. Okay. And so when you, if you put your face in here, your, your forehead here and your chin here, okay. it will take images of your face and then give you a biological age of your skin. Whoa. Yeah. That's also probably a really good like check-in for people so they know like what choices they make and how it impacts them. Exactly. So my son, I threw him a, a surprise birthday party. He was 17. Cute. Okay. So he had all of his friends, all boys and girls at nice. the house. And so they're all, they all had like beautiful skin, you know, like 16, yeah. 17 year olds. Like aesthetically, it looks exactly. beautiful. Yeah. Exactly. And they got in here and they're mm -hmm. like, uh, I'm great. And then they're like, uh, top 99% damage. No way. So you look at the UV damage, it's just yeah. awful. Which means it's going to come out eventually. Exactly. Like, like their skin will deteriorate very quickly. And so their response was like, oh my God. I can't believe that because I've always worn sunscreen. I've always been mindful, but like in their mind, they've always yeah. done the right things, but still they've suffered tremendous damage. Can this you is like, it? um, we, so when I first did mine, I was in like, I it was somewhere like age 70. Like my, I was, I, oh my God. Okay. I had really bad damage. And okay. now my overall skin age is down to like 32, 20, like 28 to 32. Okay. So it can go down. Yeah. But like, it's been so hard and not all of it is fixable. It's just so painful for me to see people engaging in self-destructive behaviors. Because it's I, so much harder to fix. It is. And I'm like, so people look at me and they're like, okay, the story of Brian Johnson is he went from burned out founder at 43 yep. to super healthy by 46. So the lesson is I can grind myself into the oh, crowd. No. No, no, you guys, that's not the takeaway. Damn, that's so unfortunate. I think it's more so like you're relatable and then they can win, but instead they're like, let me just mess up until four. Exactly. Like I'll burn myself down and I can I can bounce back. But yeah, like wow. Definitely I wish that the advice I would have get gotten is yeah. I wish someone could have said to me, You can be as ambitious as you want while also making health your number one priority, mm -hmm. but that's not gonna cost you. Like it's not mutually exclusive. Exactly. Like if you be healthy, it's not gonna cost you ambition.
I love that. Yeah, because I think a lot of times ambition comes at like the cost of sleep or yeah. you just like grind at all costs. Yeah. It's amazing. Well, thanks so much for having me here. Yeah, of course.